Code Vein. So this is something that a lot of people are excited about. Um, when it first came out, I didn't really know what it was. Uh, you know, apart from the trailer, a lot of people didn't really know what it was. You know, I hadn't really been keeping up with it, so I wasn't actually sure what to expect when going into this uh, this playthrough, this this preview um, demo sort of thing. And uh, straight up, uh, it's Dark Souls. It's anime Dark Souls with vampires. That's what you got to think of it as. The battle system is textbook, you know, Dark Souls, uh, Bloodborne, Nio, all that stuff. It is, um, you know, slow and uh, reaction based, reactive based and uh, tactical and, you know, it's dodge or die. You know, there are some elements in there that are slightly, perhaps slightly different. You have a partner with you and that partner can do things like it's, it's AI so it can heal you. In the demo, um, it did sort of, I'm guessing, overheal you because you know, if it was just going to be a Dark Souls demo that you could only play for, you know, half an hour or whatever, you might not make it past the first couple of mobs. So this sort of, uh, this AI was maybe a touch too overzealous on the healing, which I don't think will be in the final game. Uh, obviously your AI will be able to heal. I'm just guessing it's not gonna be like putting you straight up to full after every hit. Um, but you have the AI character there. You also have um, abilities, like a, a whole set of abilities that you can use. Uh, there were four on this, and there are some ranged attacks and magic attacks. And then there was also like a buff sort of thing, like for my AI. I couldn't really figure out what some of the abilities were doing, um, but it appeared as though uh, it sort of put a buff on the AI perhaps. There are obviously a whole lot of different weapons and each weapon has a different uh, move set, a different style about, about it. Uh, I had like a great sword at one point and I had a small sword and I had a gun. Uh, there was just a, a random gun in there and uh, I, I have to say that I suck at Dark Souls games. I suck at this kind of gameplay. They're not particularly enjoyable for me. Um, you know, that sort of slow uh, gameplay where the things are telegraphed and, you know, it, the really punishing stuff of, oh, you know, if I don't dodge this attack, I'm pretty much dead and have to start over back from the from the campfire or whatever, you know. I don't really find that fun. And, I, and that's just my opinion. Uh, I mean, that's just, it's just how, how, uh, what, what I, like how I feel when I play it. And there are a hell of a lot more people that disagree with, like there are a hell of a lot more people that love that kind of gameplay. And Code Vein is not going to disappoint, uh, not going to disappoint you guys. And I think it is sort of filling, it's going to be filling a, a gap where I know a lot of people um, are annoyed that Dark Souls is a Japanese developed game but it has more of a Western motif or a Western aesthetic, a Western, you know, focus. That sort of the, the villages and the locales and all that kind of stuff is, is much more Western focused. And Code Vein is a hundred percent, it's Japanese. Uh, it is a Japanese game, but with Dark Souls, it's, it's a Japanese, it's a proper Japanese aesthetic Dark Souls. So it is going to fill that sort of gap. You know, even Nio was, um, was much more Japanese than Dark Souls was, but it was more like actual traditional Japanese, as in it was going back to, you know, like old Japanese uh, history and that sort of thing. Whereas this is actually more like a JRPG, but with a really hard battle system. Fans of Dark Souls games should not be disappointed. The battle system is, I have to say, you know, like the, the, the gameplay from what I've seen is basically paint by numbers Dark Souls. It's very, very, very close to everything like Dark Souls and Nio and Bloodborne and, and every type of game like that I've ever played. It is very much like that in almost every respect. So if you really don't like those type of games, you probably aren't gonna like Code Vein, but, um, if you don't care about that kind of game style, if you like that game style, Code Vein is good. It was mechanically very sound. It was smooth. The soundtrack was uh, was good from what I can remember. Um, I 
I didn't, obviously there wasn't much variety because it's only um, sort of one section you can play through. Um, but I have actually heard some other tracks outside of the game and it sounds good. Um, the sort of design and that sort of thing is good. I didn't really get to see much of the story because there wasn't much story going on. This was more of a gameplay uh, impressions like a gameplay preview so it remains to be seen what that will be like but that could obviously be another huge uh, boon for the game it could be you know more of a story focused take on Dark Souls as well because that's a thing that uh, Souls games generally lack is uh, is you know a really uh, is a narrative like there is a narrative there but it's very bare bones and they focus more on uh world building by you know like finding secrets and figuring out things for yourself so code vein could be pushing a narrative a bit more but uh, that remains to be seen that's all i have to say about it really I mean, if you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, there are no embargoes for anything that I saw in that preview, so I can tell you everything that I saw. I can tell you as much as I know. Stay tuned, guys, for more impressions and gameplay. I'm just going to let the gameplay run now so you can see a bit more of my playthrough. And, I mean, excuse the... I'm, I mean, you're probably going to be watching me die about 50 times. I suck at these games, and it's probably why I... I don't like that. And I think I suck because I just don't have the patience. Um, I don't have the patience to learn the, the patterns and all that stuff. All right, guys. See you all soon.